Hope y'all cream hunt owners picked up Spencer Ware about a week or two ago because it looks like you are going to need him. If he is available on your wire, you pick him up right the freak. Now, it's your man's Nicholas. Big dogs got to eat fantasy football from the HQ. A little bit of a different setup, but I wanted to get this video out quickly because we just saw this video surface of Kareem Hunt beating down some girl in the lobby of a hotel. If I'm ever going to expect to see a video like that surface, it's always in the lobby of a hotel. When are y'all going to learn? It doesn't look good. Huge, 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 huge piece of shit move by Kareem Hunt. You see him in this video, which I think I'm going to put on the side of here. Um, I'll only put some of the highlights of it, but I'll put the full video via TMZ in the link in the description down below. If you want to watch it, you see him pushing a girl with, you know, like full extension. You see him pushing his friend into a girl and they both fall on the floor. And then you see him kind of running back to go kick her when she's on the ground. I don't know what the fuck's wrong with this guy. I don't know why you would ever, you know, kick someone when they're on the ground, let alone fucking hit a woman. Anyways, I'm not here to talk about that. We're here to talk about fantasy football. Spencer Ware is obviously his backup. Um, when we're looking at Spencer Ware, what's going to happen now? Do you own um, an RB1 still, right? Kareem Hunt's talent level is undeniable. Is Spencer Ware the same guy? Probably not. Will he put up near his production? I would say he's going to throw up like 80 to 85% of Hunt's production. You will miss out probably on some of the you know, athletic ability that Kareem Hunt offers. But we remember a couple of years ago when Ware was the guy in Kansas City and he was getting a ton of touches, he was pretty much a back-end RB1. That being said, let's look at some of the numbers that we have so far this year. Uh, looking at this chart, these are the snap counts so far of the running backs for Kansas City. These are just the raw snap numbers. On the top, you could see each week. So W01 is week one and then all the way up to week 11. Basically, we're seeing that Kareem Hunt has a high, high, high majority of the snaps. Um, and as the season progresses, you know, when Spencer Ware finally gets back into the lineup from like week three up until week 11, Spencer Ware is getting a decent portion of um, of snaps. And he is clearly like the only RB2 in this backfield. Anthony Sherman's like a fullback. So he's getting a little bit of play. But the only guy besides Spencer Ware that's getting any snaps in this backfield whatsoever is Damian Williams. And when we look at some of the uh, the touch counts, right? So I added up kind of the numbers in that entire backfield. Kareem Hunt accounts for 81.2% of their 255 backfield touches on the season. Spencer Ware has like 14 to 15% of the remaining. So them two basically make up all of the touches. Do I expect Ware to kind of take over that 80% touch roll? Yeah, probably. I think he's probably going to be more in the 70 to 75% roll. Um, maybe even higher. They might sign someone off free agency. I don't really know how this is going to work. We don't even know if he's going to get suspended, first of all. But the video looks really, really, really bad, really incriminating on Hunt's point of view it's, ne it's not like any question as to whether she hit him first and then he retaliated it's clearly like she never swung at him she never struck him it looks really bad for Kareem Hunt I don't know exactly like technically the 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 process behind the suspension how quickly they can give it out let me check Twitter and see if anything is updated because I'm making this video probably 20 minutes after the video surfaced what I would say is we don't know I guess we don't know a lot of the details right we don't know when this video happened we don't know if the league already knew about it supposedly there's a tweet that said the Chiefs are learning about this video in real time so might the team suspend them will the NFL suspend them if they're both learning about it right now and seeing it I can't imagine a time where the NFL is going to let him on the field right they've had a lot of fucking they've taken a lot of bullets and a lot of heat based on their lack of discipline for guys that play in the NFL and, and domestic abuse, right? So even if, you know, they suspend them and then the appeal process would push the uh, suspension back until the appeal happens, I mean, I, I'm pretty sure they could still put them on the exempt list, right? What, what we saw with Adrian Peterson. So in my eyes, and I have no idea about it, in, in a half hour, this could change. Like, so I might just be talking bullshit right now, but I'm a doctor, so take my word for it. I think Kareem Hunt is... Not going to see the field again in 2018. Where is, yeah, I think it's a back-end RB1. So if you're able to pick him up off your wire right now, you're you're getting a fucking, you're, it's a heaven send for you entering the fantasy playoffs. If you backed him, if you backed up Hunt with Ware, that's huge for you um, as insurance. They play Oakland this week, right? So that's going to be a monster game for Ware. My DFS video that's going out tomorrow was like fucking touting Kareem Hunt. You got to get him on in all your fucking lineups. He's going to win you a million dollars. Now he's going to lose you a million dollars if you are in fantasy football. Season-long leagues. Plays Baltimore at home in the following week. Chargers at home the following week. And then at Seattle for your fantasy football playoffs. So it's a pretty rough schedule over the next three games outside of Oakland this weekend. So if Ware is in the lineup and Hunt is out of the lineup, you're probably looking at you know more high-end RB2 numbers just because the volume is going to be so high. And this is a, a fantastic offense, of course. So don't discount that just because it's where and it's a hard schedule. It's still Patrick Mahomes, Kansas City Chiefs. I think that's all really I have to add until we hear any more news about it. So I am, I am definitely thinking that he is going to be suspended quickly. 
I don't know. It's going to be a little bit crazy. So keep your eye on it. Make sure you grab where if he is available, spend all your fucking fab budget. If you can, if you have any left at this point in the season, I don't know what the fuck you've been doing. If you do, that's it. Just want to give you a quick update from the H. Q. Make sure you're following me on all the social medias. Uh, make sure you subscribe if you're new to the channel. We're breaking down fantasy football stuff all year long, all summer long. We out.